Hi, my name is Bill Blau. I'm from JC Whitlam. What we're doing today here is showing you how to clean the tankless water heater. According to manufacturer specification on almost all the heaters, they have to be cleaned for their their for their to serve their warranty once a year. They need flushed out twice a year if it's a commercial unit. What we have here is we have the flow aid system. And that's what we're going to use to clean our tankless water heater. The flow aid kit comes with chemical, comes with hoses, comes with a pump. So everything you need is going to be right here in this bucket. It's a grab and go bucket for the contractor. So the contractor can pick this up at his local wholesaler and clean the whole unit. Okay, so we're here with the flow aid system. We said that it was a grab and go bucket. Let's see what's inside the bucket. The bucket comes with Pour a solution. The solution is going to be a one to four mix. So what that means is I'm going to empty this into the into the bucket, and then I'm going to put four additional quarts into the system, just plain water. The system comes with pump. This pump is specifically made for the flow aid system. It won't allow the chemical to bother the pump. Everything is uh, encased so it does not hurt the pump itself. If you use regular pump with the flow aid system, it can cause damage to that. The pump comes with a filter. Just put the filter on there. The filter's going to, any type of scale that comes out of the system, this filter is actually going to uh, make sure it doesn't go bad. Then the unit actually comes with two hoses. The two hoses are used to hook up the pump to the isolation valves here. First of all, you have to turn off the electricity to the, the unit. Sometimes there are some units that actually need electricity on. You're going to have to check your owner's manual to see which type of unit you have. This one here is an A.O. Smith. This A.O. Smith, you do not need to put the electricity on. So we're going to unplug the unit. Power's off. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so now what we need to do is turn off the main water source to the unit. We're going to isolate the unit. So right here we're going to turn off the main for the hot and the main for the cold. Next step is to connect the service valves to the hoses and then the pump assembly. So we take, unscrew, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect the female end of the hose right on the isolation valve. Tighten it up. And put the second female side onto the pump. Stick the pump into the bucket. Take your second set of hoses. Take your first, connect it to the valve, the cold water valve, stick it in the bucket. Take your quart of flow aid that was in the flow aid kit, and this would be a, this is a four to one mixture. So you pour the concentrate in first. We've already poured in the one quart of concentrate, so now we have to add one gallon of water. So your solution is ready. Next step is to open the service ports on your isolation valves on your tankless water heater. Next step is actually to plug in the pump. Additionally, check that the water is actually going through the unit. This is actually recirculating in and recirculating out. The 
recirculate the solution through the system for 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, now it's, it is recirculated for 30 to 45 minutes. So now we're ready to unplug. Next step, turn off cold water valve, unhook the hose, and put the service cap back on. Okay, now we're ready to disconnect the hose from the pump. Take the pump out of the solution. Time to discard the flow aid solution. Flow aid is biodegradable, so you actually throw it right down the drain. And now we're going to flush our unit. So, if you have a drain nearby, we can actually turn this on and flush the water down the drain. I don't have a drain nearby, so I'm just going to flush it into the bucket. Hold on to your hose, open up the isolation valve slowly. And let it drain for three to five minutes. Okay, now that we're done flushing the unit, we turn off the service valve. Disconnect the hose. Place the service cap back on. Turn back on the water, main water, and plug in the unit. Okay, now that we're done flushing out our unit. We need to make sure we take care of our tools. Just like any other tools, this pump needs to be thoroughly washed out. Make sure that uh, there's no remaining flow aid residue in the pump. So you can hook your garden hose to this into a fresh water line and flush it out.